Hey folks, welcome back to Dominions. At the end of the last episode, we came to, we, well, turn 30 drew to a close, and yeah, it's just time to roll on the turn. Now, you'll see here that, ah, oh, now, hold on a minute. Yeah, so we're actually crossing th this frozen river here. Now, I think, yeah, this is early fall. I don't think this is going to get any warmer, This these provinces. I don't think. Uh, looks like we're into three cold. Uh, now, one of the reasons why this is uh, why we've got a lot of cold, I suspect that Marverni has a cold bless. The other reason I think would be because the throne of I forget what it's called, throne of winter, I think, is currently kicking off. When you when you actually first activate that throne, it will it will start sending cold out across the world. Now I don't know how long that will last for. It's not permanent though, I don't think. Uh, so yeah anyway uh, why is this interesting well the reason being is because we've got to cross this r this river here and i think we're going to be able to yeah we won't be able to get back essentially uh, i think it was merry discusser pointed this out he might not have been talking about that particular battle uh, but yeah we do have to be a little bit aware that rivers in dominion six are much more f useful uh, i mean they're, they're they're much more of a threat but they are much more useful for defense now and they are you know an obstacle but uh we do we will be able to actually jump through here to the woods of weeping and then get back into our own territory and kind of link up our circular nation that we've got here uh just to correct uh mary discusser also connect corrected a uh, mistake i made but i was talking about one of these i was like oh we'd be able to get resources pulled in from the sea no you can't do that you can't pull resources in from the sea or recruitment points, I don't think. Uh, I think that will only work if you've got a f underground, you know, an underwater fort. So if we were going to get one of those, we really need to find ourselves a flamen that has water, and then somehow, yeah, and then somehow maybe empower him, I guess, to level two. Then we'd need. Oh, I d I don't know what the level would be. Let me just let me just get one of these mages that's not doing anything. Uh. So where are we? Oh, yeah, we can't do it here. That's the magic item treasury. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's just a list. Uh, there is a way of just checking out what stuff that you can build. Let me just remind myself how to do this. I'm going to pause it, guys. One minute. I'm going to pause it. Here we are, guys. So the way you go into that, by the way, is you uh, pick a mage who's by a lab. Uh, you go to forge magic items. And then you hit uh, Control A, which is View All Items. There we are. So you actually get a chance to see everything that's in the uh, that you can possibly make in the whole game. Now this stops you having to go into the Mod Inspector, which is what I would normally do in situations like that. So what it, what was I looking for? Well, I was trying to figure out where uh, the what level mage you needed for getting the Water Magic Plus One Water Bracelet. It's only Water Magic One. Okay, so this actually if you've got a water one mage you can immediately get up to water two that means you can then start site searching with you know i mean you have to get up to well this is going to be yeah i forget what what level you need for this one let me just have a look at this what level of construction uh okay so very powerful is seven so you need to get to construction seven so it's kind of high um it's kind of high to get that but that said if you really want to get into water that's going to be the way to do it basically uh that's going to be the way to do it but yeah that's i mean look that's quite far down i forgot it was was it always been this far down i want to say that the the, the water bracelet used to be in greater magic items uh, there's another one as well there i'm sure there's another path booster which one was it again I forget now and I can, I can just I'm just reading in the future I can just see Mary Discusser uh, leaving a little timestamp and telling me which one it is <laughs> thanks in advance Mary but uh yeah I'm, I, I can't remember which one it is now uh I think it was I thought it was this manual yeah that's the manual of water breathing yeah there is a way of, oh there's a water robe that was it I remember now yes yeah, this one here look so you get the robe of the sea as well now this one you actually need to be water magic level three to be able to to uh to create this so you'd have to like so you get to level four and with a water mage level one uh through path boosting so what that means is you have to go to you have to get to construction seven or con yeah construction seven 
Then you get the uh, water bracelet with your water one mage. That turns him into a water two. And then uh, you either... You either forge a Staff of Elemental Mastery, which we can probably do with... I can't remember if we went with the Rainbow Mage now, to be honest. I can't remember what the path we went with with our Pretender, who is about to come out at some point. But we might be able to get the Staff of Elemental Mastery. That one is... Where are we? I think it's... Uh, where are we? Is it a rod of elemental mastery? I forgot now. Rod of death. Probably a way of searching for this. No. Anyway, uh, I'm I'm not going to bore you with this. But basically, yeah, there's a there's an elemental staff that you can make if you've got the paths for it. That would boost you up to level three, and then you would go for the. When, once you're at level three, then you go for the robe. And then you can build a robe and that'll take you to level four. And once you've got to level four water magic, pretty much you can you could probably summon another a better water mage. I, I ah, let me so if we go into conjuration, this is where Dominions gets really cool, by the way, when you start planning everything. Uh, so we just go to water magic look. So Nyad, you could get uh now we do, this doesn't tell you what what I would really like to see with this game, maybe, would be Actually, I saw someone talk about this on the on Explorminate, and um, they were talking about maybe in, integrating the mod inspector. I don't think they'll do that. Part of the reason is I think it spoils some of the the mystery of the game if you just show everything that the game offers. But for those people who want to play multiplayer and want to min max everything, then it's kind of important. I uh, basically, yeah. Anyway, to get back to what I was saying, you you want to cast the Queen of Elemental Mastery. So you need five. You need water level five. So you need to get up to level four. Then you probably have to spend some gems empowering. So uh, 40 gems it would be to empower from level one to level two and then you do the other steps that i talked about before um, that would get you to four if you didn't have the staff if you did have the staff that'd get you to five then once you've got to level five you've got the water uh, you know the element queen of elemental water uh, who can take you into the really high level ma uh, water magic stuff because remember you can then take all those items off and probably put them on some of them onto the uh onto the queens anyway bit of a diversion but i think it's kind of interesting uh, i think that's it for this turn we've pretty much done everything apart from yeah apart from move a few scouts let's just end the turn okay okay no magic sites found by the looks of it looks like we were attacked by marverni Let me just see what they attacked us with. They just attacked with some Carnu uh, warriors, noble warriors. Okay, and he blessed himself. I got a big ble bless look. Wow, really, really big bless. Poison resistance, solar weapons, fire resistance, cold resistance, blur, reinvigoration, enchanted blood. So they got healing as well. True sight. Uh, inspirational leadership plus 50 percent uh, it's not going to help them here unfortunately they're just attacking with a bunch of bare chested warriors these are good troops they're probably not going to stand up against heavy cab though at least not, not when they're surrounded okay that was look this is the ai trying to trying to thug it's trying to send in raiding parties uh, i didn't do a particularly good job there but at least it's trying <laughs> there's a battle in solian Let's have a look at what's going on here too. Okay, this is our main force. We've got a bunch of Hobergs. <laughs> Hoburg militias. And a Marvoni chieftain. Yeah, there's nothing to see here, I don't think. Yeah, so the, the Hawks came in and sort of did a lot of the damage. These Hobergs are going to run now. There they go, look. Poor little guys, they didn't stand a chance. Okay. Enemy temple was found. It was swiftly raised. And the walls in Maverni are moderately damaged. More time is required to break them down. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. So we're going to put up a... Yeah, I think we're going to... Looks like Maverni have got some... Maybe a raiding party or something here. 30 enemies. Oh no, this is that, this is that force that we chased down there. 
No. I beg your pardon. That's Turninog. Yeah, that's Turninog. Okay. This guy's building a palisade here. Uh, I think we're going to build... Get a temple up. We've got loads of treasury. Uh, we're not spending enough of our money. So I, I've got so much... I've got a big income now. Look, really, really big income. That's like 2,600... No, it's 2,500 credits. Sorry, 2,500 gold every turn. It's just, you know, extra expense. Now, um, in that case... Remus here. What's this guy doing? Let's get him on site search auto. Yeah, we'll build the temple here. Put this palisade up. Uh, I think we're going to put a few, a little bit more province defense in. We could probably get up another fort. We don't want to put up so many forts that we can't afford. You know that we 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 can't actually use them. So really, you want to be you know you want to be constantly pumping out mages. Um, you want to be constantly pumping out troops as well. Yeah, last that, that last turn. We and we didn't have so much money. Let's just get these guys all researching. Let's just see what our research is like. 176. Really, really poor. Very, very poor. Um, what are we going for next? We're going for enchantment five, I think, by the looks of it. Enchantment five is going to give us a horde of skeletons. And oh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Enchantment's kind of an interesting path. So uh we can cast pretty much all of these apart from glamour and we yeah basically apart from glamour but most pertinently we're going to be looking at fire so enchantment is going to give us flaming arrows uh eventually it'll give us hail of burning embers which is the old flaming arrows battlefield wide spell uh, but level five is going to give us flaming arrows we're in an area of effect 20. now we can start building slingers and slingers will be pretty useful with uh, flaming arrows you need a you need a uh you need an Augur Elder to be able to cast it. And, you know, only a few of the Augur Elders will be able to do it. Well, actually, no, that's true. Not true. Because you can just... Yeah, I think all Augur Elders can do that. Let's just have a look at those guys. Yeah, they, they all have two. So you can get up to level three with Phoenix Power. Uh, so that's one thing you can do with enchantment. Uh, Flame Ward as well to protect you from fire. This might become useful uh, in an area of effect 20. That might be useful against multiple Heim, for example. Uh, if we go back into here... With death, obviously we get Horde of Skeletons, Pale Riders. Pale Riders are a really, really good spell. Um, we will be able to cast that. Or we'll be able to get skeletons out with those, but we need to get more death gems, and it doesn't seem to be very many on the map that we've found anyway. I think one of the first things that I'm going to do um, with regards to death here is we're going to try and get a revenant up uh, early on. This guy will come in conjuration. Uh, where are we? Oh no, maybe he's not. Is he in? enchantment create revenant here we are for nine death gems you get a, a death one mage basically and if you can then forge him a skull staff he can create a he's then up to death two and then he can make more revenants so that's kind of how you start doing that um and revenants the other thing we can do of course is in thaumatogy no, it's not Thaumatogy. It must be... Is it enchantment again? Yeah. Level 4 gives us Twice Born. Now, Twice Born basically means that your when your mage dies, he comes back and he's a leash. And the leashes can... They're immortal. Well, they're not immortal. But they are... They're ageless, basically. So, uh, you can... This is a nice way of... You can basically suicide all your death mages that have Twice Borned into the enemy. Or if they die, then they, they just come back. And they can be, you know, sometimes they get a chance of getting a death... Well, they get a chance of getting another death path too. Uh, but, for example, Maximus here. Maximus the Augur Elder. He is costing me 236 gold per year, which is really expensive. But as a as a white... Uh, yeah, it's not a leash, sorry. It's a white. As a white, he's not going to cost us anything. So all of a sudden, he becomes quite cheap. Uh, okay. So here in Marverni, we need to get more troops in. We don't have that. We don't ha actually have much in the way of sieging power. Okay, Stanabor here. He is doing nothing. So let's get this guy taking a whole bunch of replacement troops. Um, we'll just put these guys all, uh, all in one group. Just in case they get attacked, which I don't think is likely. But we'll at least script them. 
those guys just on attack. Okay. And then they're going to move down towards Marverni. Going to take a little while for them to get down here. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of these, these flying troops. Now, are we able to build... Uh, sorry, that's not what I want. I want Forge Magic Items. Oh, by the way, we've got some Alquils. I forgot to put those on next last turn, but let's do that. So let's just give a couple of these guys these Alquils. This increases their research ability. Very, very nice way to spend your uh, fire, uh, your air gems. Also got a Pendant of Courage. Got who I made that for now. I'll probably end up putting it on one of my commanders. In fact, maybe we give that to Stanibor here. Can temporarily pretend that he's nice and courageous. Look, his morale will go right up to 18. But he's re less likely to run. Okay. Uh yes, yeah, so what I was I what was I looking at? I was looking at the magic items again. Let's get her uh going to forge magic item. Ring of levitation. Okay, that gives you floating. It's not the same as flying, though. Yeah, I think you must need further further in for the air stuff. Let me have a look. Flying carpet. Okay, that gives you army flight. That's not what I'm after. Where are we? I'm sure there's an item that could make you that made you fly it might be oh there we are yeah the wing shoes so uh this comes at greater magic items so uh we need to go a couple of levels up but this makes your commander flying so why am i why am i talking about this well it's because we've got a whole bunch of flying troops now uh, we don't necessarily have to have a flying leader command them but that would be great because that would mean that we could we, you know we could attack behind enemy lines essentially with them uh i think for the time being let's get finfag just taking those guys and yeah look at these these are a re these are a really nice new model look that's been drawn for them so they've got the pegasus and the pegasus rider uh but these are these are sacred this is a nice unit uh this was a really really nice province for us to get um i'll actually try and get some more of these guys up if we can uh, we're going to get more of the auger elders now i want i want as many auger elders as we can get we're about to get twice born uh we do need to do some more site searching but uh, once we've got some cheap, you know, like maybe I get a Revenant or something and then the, we can have the Revenant, Revenant casting the Sight Searching spell. That's our best way of, I forget what the one, what it's called now, Dark Knowledge, there we go. So if we can start casting Dark Knowledge, that will find the, uh, the Death Sights pretty fast. Okay. And we're just going to move through and see what we can do here. Okay, here it's Solian. Okay, we've got another fort here owned by Marverni. How many troops? What's our power here? Uh, sorry, our siege power. Not a lot. I don't, have a lo I don't have a whole lot of troops. Yeah, Hobergs aren't going to be much good at siege strength. Yeah, they're kind of crap. However, they are really cheap. Yeah, they're just, they are crap, though. <laughs> <laughs> they got gluttony as well, so you tell your supplies, little buggers. <laughs> I don't think they're, I don't think they're worth getting at all. However, hang on a minute, what's the mage that they've got? Ah, oh, they've got the horticulturists as well, and they give you a twenty percent chance of an, an extra path. Um, so twenty split by ten. Chances of getting that then it's going to be one in five, and then half of that again. Ah, oh, my my probability maths is really really bad. Uh, but yeah, so I think what's that? I think that's twenty divided by five. Is that four percent? I think that's right. Twenty divided by fifty percent. No, it might be ten percent chance. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to embarrass myself anymore. I'm, I'm sure those mathematicians amongst you will be able to figure that one out. I actually passed that class at university as well. <laughs> Apparently, okay. Uh, let's. I think what we're going to do is we're going to sight search here. Um, yeah, we don't actually have a death mage. I won't sight search. I'm just going to move straight into Titan's steps here. Or maybe we just go and kill this army. That might be a better idea because it looks like 
Yeah, I, maybe we do that. We'll go and kill these guys. Then we've got the option. We can either move them and bring them up to here to uh, help the siege at Marverni, or we can just jump into Titan Steps itself. That will put us on the border of Machaka as well, interestingly. Okay. Uh, Anius. Uh, let's get him moving down here. Yeah, this is just terrain. This is just planes. So I don't think there's much chance. Oh, we've already got a guy here anyway. I was just wond wondering whether I want to be sight searching here, but already got a mage. Okay. Uh, I think Maximus is going to stay here in sight search. In that case, uh, we want to get him casting spells. Ah, these are good mages, these are. Now, there's a nice cross path for fire and death. That's an astral death cross path as well. Uh, yeah, you could do bane fire. I think that must be evocation. I forget. I think it's evocation. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, bane fire darts. This is a good spell if you can get it. There's not that many. There's not that many nations get this, but um, this basically causes decay in an area of effect one on top of hitting you know somebody with a 15 armor piercing damage so if it doesn't kill them chances are they're going to die of decay anyway uh, so that's a pretty cool pretty cool spell you also got bane fire as well bane fire is an area of effect one basically the same thing uh, but you also get this uh bane flame area is area of effect six uh with damage plus eight so it cut this one explodes it does a massive amount of damage in the area if it hits and that like 55 armor piercing damage then it does eight armor piercing damage in an area of effect six around it. And then in an even larger area, you get the decay effect. This is really, really, really deadly spell. Um, and it's it's appropriately far down in the tree as well. But we can do that stuff if we really want to. Okay. Yeah, let's get these guys over this way as well. Maybe I just get Konica searching here first. I'm really desperate to find death sites. We really need more, more gems. Okay, I think we're about done. Yeah, I might bring. Okay, I don't want any more of these guys. Uh, let's start getting out. What what we were building here. Status. We'll just start getting some more Hostatus here. Get some of the Equitates of the Sacred Shroud here, because these are a really, really good unit. And we're going to end the turn. It's funny, I was... Uh, finished work tonight and i was like right got a bit of time for, for once and uh i might play some total war warhammer 3 i've not played that game in ages i kind of went off it for a bit and then i reinstalled it and i thought yeah i'm gonna play that because it's been a while and then i thought to myself nah man why am i playing a normie game like that when i can just play dominions <laughs> this is so much better i do like warhammer by the way i think it's really good fun it's kind of dumb fun uh even by strategy game you know for a strategy game it's kind of dumb uh, okay, we found tar pits here, uh, so we've got even more fire gems. I think we probably should be using some of these gems. Uh, what's he going to be searching here? Oh, he's Astral 2. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we can start uh, forging some cool stuff. Uh, fire in a jar, for example. This is going to give you a temporary fire gem every battle. So you can just get a free fire elemental or something like that. Um, the, we, can start, we can start forging some decent armor as well. Like, when you've got a load of gems like this, you want to use it. Okay, they don't. you don't want to be just not... You don't want to just be sat around not doing anything with your gems. That's a bad idea. So you always want to be using them. Inventory is a form of waste, as they say. Uh, getting a dragon helm up like these things for example these are nice extra morale fire resistance very very good helmet these things are pretty good too these give you fire plate gives you extra hit points ill winter added more stuff that gives you hit points in this one in dominion 6 which i really like i, I think they're still relatively rare relatively rare 
I like the Burning Pearl as well. This is a, gives you plus four attack skill. Okay, uh, let's start. Let's just start building some stuff. Well, what we're probably going to kit out one of our. We we'll have to start kitting out thugs and that kind of stuff if we really want to. Okay, anyway, let's carry on uh, finding out what's going on this turn. Lots and lots of sight searching, but you didn't find very much. Uh, there was a battle in Eknafale. This is Marverni attacking in here. Ah, okay, so we did have our mage here. Okay, he's just doing a uh, skelly spam. I think we're going to win this. Interesting that they're attacking in with these small groups, look. So they've got an Amim, uh, Ambibate, Ambibate champion. Oh, he's got the inspirational ability and the wolf, magic wolf tattoo. Limited in vulnerability and attack skill. Uh, but it's not been awakened. Uh, they've got a boar warrior. So they have got some sacreds in here. Yeah, they've got these boar warriors, but they're not, they've not been blessed. Yeah, still a little bit of work in, uh, to do in Dominions' AI, I feel. I think we got this. We didn't even need the skeleton spam. Okay, so Marverni making a making a half assed effort to try and take us on. Um, yeah, they only attack with 23 troops. I had a crystal sorceress there too. There's a battle in Marverni itself. Okay, so it looks like Marverni actually came in with a, a force to try and relieve. Ah, oh, there we are, look. So we've got an elder druid. Ah, oh, look at that. Water one... Earth 2, Astral 2, Nature 1. Got a bunch of gems. Uh, we've got a, a Vergabret. It's a priest. Uh, those guys are in Conquest for Elysium as well. We've got uh, Kamal Gunius, the... Uh, Kamalu Genius, or Kamal Genius, the Apony Chieftain. And they've got a Crusher. 110 hit points, 25 strength. Not very good defense, but really, really high protection. We might not be able to kill this. Uh, well, let's see what happens. I th I reckon we probably able to blast it with something. Okay, we've got these uh, clockwork warriors coming in. Yeah, look at that. So we managed to web them up. We also managed to web our own troops. These are equitates. Let's see what's going up on this. Okay, so our levees have actually reached this Marverni battle line. The levees are not going to win that. Uh, we have got some Ecotates of the Sacred Shroud, though, and they are blessed. So these guys are going to run around the back, and that's going to cause problems for Marverni, I think. Okay, here we go, look. Missed with that flaming uh, fireball there, but the we did hit with a lightning bolt. Okay, we've got, got some hits in there. Yeah, looks like our um, Ecotates of the Sacred Shroud have got around the back here. Just this Crusher... And these uh, these clockwork soldiers are doing some work as well. Look at these guys are still alive, although they're probably they're not far off of running out of fatigue. This thing, right? Oh, they changed now. It used to be that these guys basically had a, a really high uh, encumbrance, so they'd uh, they'd run across the field and then they'd eventually wind down. I think they've been changed actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had a that one's lost its head. I think they uh, I think they had a, a, a buff in recent. In recent times or in recent patches. Oof, fireballs coming in. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. <laughs> Let's hit that Carnute Noble Warrior. Now this uh this dude is this crusher is really, really slow. I'm hoping that we can do something about him. This is a good effort by Marverni to try to, to you know to kind of stop. Oh, look at that. Straight into our own troops there. And this Crusher is going to do some damage, I think. Oh, look at that. That uh, Arcane Bolt just blasted a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, several Clockwork Warriors. Okay, we got another Arcane Bolt. Uh, actually hit that Crusher there. This is basically... Uh, this is your Magic Missile spell. Yeah, these guys aren't doing very much damage. Oh, and he disappeared because it looks like uh, whoever it was who was controlling him ran away. I think it must be this druid here. Yeah, so the crusher just, he just fell to pieces. There we go. Echo takes the sacred shroud in the back there. Okay. 
So what did we lose? We lost two Equitates, two Equitates to the Sacred Shroud, and a smattering of the other troops. Um, also, a couple of uh, one of the units ran by the looks of it. But yeah, the Augurs, the Augurs got a lot of kills there. They got most, a lot of the kills, most of the kills. And we killed seventy five troops. Yeah, that Crusher was too slow. I think, I think if he'd have been like further on the front line, it could have done a lot of damage. Uh, but it needed more support. Okay, there was a battle in the woods of weeping. A big uh, army. Okay. Oh, this guy casts soldiers of steel. He cast it on himself. <laughs> so. Wait. Did he cast it on himself? No, he's just got really good armor. Yeah, he's got no armor to cast. I'm not quite sure where he casts that. Anyway. Yeah, there's not going to be much to see here. This is going to be a pretty simple battle. Just some slingers to kill. They'll probably run after the first few volleys of, uh, of Peeler or Pylum or whatever they are. Peeler being thrown at them. There we go. Okay. No troops lost. Okay, um, province. Oh, we lost some income in that province. We started to f destroy the uh, fort in Marverni. Moderately damaged. Yeah, it's going to take a while. And yeah, new famous hero, Silvius. Silvius here, the augur, has got giant blood. This commander is known for his great size and strength. He's pr he probably has giant blood in his veins. Okay, <laughs> so he's actually turned into Scythe 4. That's kind of funny. So he's stronger as well. Uh, does he get more f encumbrance? No, does he get less encumbrance? No, so it's not going to really help him. Maybe if he gets a uh, attack, you know, if he gets assassinated, <laughs> he might be able to defend himself a little bit better. Okay, let's continue with these guys moving in. Um... Let's get Kara here, constructing a lab in Debritha. And then once that palisade goes up there, we are ready for them. Have we uh, got ourselves a water flamen yet? I don't think we have. Been kind of unlucky this game to not get any of those guys. I think this turn we're going to get, get a couple of these commanders. Yeah, Marvernian almost done. Look, they've only got a couple of provinces left. Ah, oh, he's got a he's got a limp. That's not good. Have him search, and we'll have Maximus move in. Yeah, no, there's just no death sites, are there? Got really unlucky in this game. So I think. Uh, you know, it's looking like there's not going to be a whole lot of death magic in this game because we just won't really have the, the the gems to be able to do much with it. Uh, let's get these guys moving in. Oh, <laughs> looks like Machaka's moved in. Okay, so we've missed out on Titan Steps unless we want to go to more war with Machaka. I don't right now, in all honesty. Okay, we're going to get Avernus here preaching. Um, we'll start getting our... Um, Ermol's really, really strong dominion up. Uh, Finfag here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna bring him down. Bring him down to Bara at least. I think. Some more Augur elders up. I think that's about it. This looks like okay. That's a not a great province. Really low income. Yeah, it's just really low population. The woods are weeping. I want there might be death sites there. This might be a place to put up a yeah to put up a uh, fort though. Gonna have one Marverni. We could put one here. No, Majubara is already there. Look. 
So yeah, Woods Weeping might be a place. The only problem is it doesn't really have very much income. So we won't be getting a whole lot of income out of it. But strategically, it might be a good place to put uh, forts. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Just, just as a strategic place to put up a, a, a simple fort. So we'll probably have... Let's grab ourselves a cheap commander. And uh, that's going to be it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Dominions. And I will catch you next time. Take care.